Hey everybody, today I'm going to review Channel Locks Model 2012 Angled PVC or Oil Filter Pliers. And this is really designed not only with plumbing applications, but also automotive applications in mind. And I first saw it last year at SEMA in Las Vegas. At that time, it was a brand new addition to the lineup of these that they already make. However, this one's unique because the head is going to be offset 30 degrees from the handle. And what I want to do in this video is really focus on the automotive application, specifically oil filters. And I want to show you how a specialized pair of pliers like this can help you remove a very tight or very hot oil filter. You won't burn your hands and you won't have to resort to something like a screwdriver and a hammer in order to punch a hole through it to get enough leverage to remove it. If you do something like that, you could inadvertently damage your engine and it could cost you a lot more in the long run. But if you have the right tool for the job, you can easily remove that filter and you could do so very quickly and very safely. So what I want to do in this video is give you some closer up looks at this. We're going to see how it compares to other oil filter pliers and we're going to see how it actually performs. Here's a closer look at the pliers and I want to point out right off the bat that they're coming in at just over 11 inches long. They only weigh about a pound and they're held together with a permalock fastener, which is basically a large steel rivet that will never back off or let go. So unlike some other styles that might have a nut and bolt that could fail or loosen up over time, this is really designed to last the lifetime of the tool. The grips on these are going to be the standard channel lock blue and it will have five different adjustment points on a tongue and groove style mechanism. That's going to give you a maximum jaw opening of three and three quarter inches and a minimum jaw opening of two and a half inches. Unlike a traditional pair of pliers that will have a flat jaw on the top and on the bottom, the oil filter pliers will have a curved jaw on both. In addition to this, you'll notice the teeth, which are on the standard pair, extend from the back all the way to the front. And if you're using these and you're clamping down on something, it's going to spread your force out along that entire area. With the oil filter pliers, you'll notice that they do not have teeth along the entire jaw, and instead they have these raised areas focused with one on the bottom and two on the top. This is going to give you three different points of contact, allowing you to clamp down with much more force because you're not spreading it over a large area. With the three different points of contact, it makes it ideal with any round object, especially an oil filter. And if we notice this one, if we clamp down on it, what's going to happen? The bottom jaw is going to be directly across from the center of the top jaw. This is going to give you three different points of contact. And as you squeeze down on this, the filter really won't have anywhere to go. And it's going to give you excellent control to remove it. When we compare that to a very large pair of channel locks, you'll notice the flat jaw on both the top and the bottom. And when we clamp down on the same filter, we don't have those three different points of contact. And it's only a couple teeth hitting. If we squeeze down on this, it would probably just bend the filter in or just rip the paint off if we tried to remove it. And this would not be nearly as effective. When you first use these, you might be concerned that you're actually going to poke a hole through your oil filter because as you squeeze down on it, it tends to bend on the outside. Now you'd never install an oil filter with these pliers. They're solely for removing it. But because of the way that it actually clamps down and the fact that the sheet metal is fairly thin on an oil filter, even when you crush down with force, you'll notice that it will bend in. However, it's not going to break through. We can squeeze down as tight as we can. The filter would not go anywhere. And if you notice, we only have small dents on either side that would prevent it from moving. This is to clamp down and allow you to remove it very easily. And it's not going to poke through the side, spilling oil everywhere. Here's a couple other styles of tools that I use to remove oil filters and we can see that one of those is another pair of oil filter pliers. Now the head with this has no offset and although it does work very well, when you're in a situation where there's an obstruction in the way, the handles will end up hitting it preventing this from being used. That's the same problem you run into with the beta strap wrench. It has to clamp down around a filter and then you use the end here to turn it. 
However, if something's in the way, this is not going to work either. That's where something like the channel lock could clamp on and remove it because the handles are completely offset from the head. Now to see how they actually perform, I'm going to do an oil change on my F350 turbo diesel. This has a very large oil filter, but because they are within range of the channel locks, it will be able to latch on and help me remove it very quickly when I'm underneath the vehicle. Now that we've drained the oil pan, I can go ahead and remove the filter. Now it's been on here since the vehicle was brand new. It now has about 7,000 miles on it, and this is extremely tight. Although it is a very large filter and I can get a good grip on it, I can't twist it with my hand. And what we'll do is go ahead and take the channel locks, lock them onto the filter, and then when we squeeze the handle, it's gonna clamp down and allow us to break it free. So with the help of the channel locks, I was able to remove that very large oil filter off the turbo diesel. It did not puncture the sides of it, but you can see where it crushed it in because of all the force I was putting on it, and it removed it with no problem. So now you've seen channel locks model 2012 angled head oil filter pliers for yourself. Now I think these did a great job at locking onto that oil filter and breaking it free. And although it had a lot of clearance under there because it is a very large vehicle, let's say you're working on something that doesn't have that much clearance, the angled head on this would make a much bigger difference in that case because your hand wouldn't be hitting the obstructions. Now keep in mind, these are not gonna work in all situations, and having a pair that is a straight-handled version, which would also be something that would be very useful, might work where the angled head would not. And where neither one of these would work, you could always pick up a strap wrench, 
or even oil filter sockets depending on the vehicle you're working on. So if you're using something like this, you can get the job done very quickly and very easily. And if you try to use a standard pair of pliers, it's just gonna spin around, it's not gonna grip in and not let go like this design. And you never wanna have to use a screwdriver and a hammer to remove a filter, because like I said at the beginning of the video, you could inadvertently damage your engine. Now lastly, these do have a lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects. So as long as you're just not wearing them out over time or abusing them, if it ever does have a problem, Channel Lock will fix or replace these for you free of charge. And they are going to be 100% made in the USA. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.